Well, it's right before day three of All Stars. I'm joined right now by Azale. Azale, how's All Stars been for you so far? Uh, I've really been loving it, actually, because I think, especially after Worlds, it's like a pretty stark contrast and like how serious it is. You can kind of have fun, relax a little bit more, and uh, it makes it pretty enjoyable. Any particular highlights or standouts for you? I think the Mata Faker 1v1 was pretty hype. I also like the Impact. Uh, Impact won a lot as well, just because it looked like he was pretty screwed. So I think that one was pretty fun. Should we expect you in makeup and glitter soon challenging any of the Spanish casters? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how many of us could pull that off. Maybe yeah. Dash could get in there. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if I, if I could manage. Okay. And what about kissing any of them? Because that's also been a thing. I feel like all the, the talent here has been kind of going a little bit off the rails. Yeah, I mean, I think people are having some fun with it, uh, you know, hamming it up a bit. Yeah. Um, I think I think some of, the, some of the guys are more suited to that. You know, maybe yeah. the you're going to see Jat doing that. I don't oh, think yeah, so, yeah, but but probably not me either. I could see Kobe doing it, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe you got you know, a little bit on, on a good day, you know. A couple drinks day. in him, I think. Maybe that's when it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, so what have you thought overall of the event and being in Barcelona and just kind of the overall experience, I think? Uh, Barcelona has been gorgeous. I've never been to Spain, so I've actually, because I've been jet I've been touring around a lot and have really loved the city. Um, and as far as the event, I'm actually kind of a bit surprised as to how serious the players have been taking it because I feel like in the past it's been more trolly. Like, there are some players, like Mata is kind of trolling around and then the 1v1 was pretty hype, but yeah. um, in general, it's like you're watching... LMS, LCK and stuff, it's like serious picks, serious bans, they're playing like they really want to win and stuff, so it feels like this time it's more pride on the line than in previous years. Like yeah. last year I watched in LA just as a spectator, but uh, it felt a lot more trolly with picks and everything. Yeah. Which is funny because I think in a lot of cases like the fans have been, like in North America I think voted a lot of the best talent yeah. there. Other people tend to be voting just some of their favorites. And so it's just been kind of funny to also see. It's like, wait, what? What is this? Is this like a series or is this fun? Uh, so it's, it's been cool to see it play out. In particular, for you, is there any? Do you take a different tax at all in casting any of this stuff than you do like at a Worlds or something? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think we've been kind of you're kind of set free a little bit more to joke around, right? Like it is much more jokey about the regions and about the players and stuff like that. Cause I think it is uh, more okay to kind of have fun and, and make fun of each other and, and do that because it's a much more lighthearted event. Whereas, you know, worlds is much more like kind of close to the chest. Like you you have to be much more serious about it because it's so much more about like the skill of the players and the best in the world and everything. And while these guys are those incredible players too, it's more about them having fun and its personality right. and stuff. Yeah. It's hard to hard to cast super seriously when it's just going to be a bunch of assassins all attacking each other. Oh, so yeah. poor king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor king. That's a little bit different time. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, off season is happening, and there's been a ton of roster changes. Uh, people moving across regions. Who are you going to SKT? Uh, what are your thoughts so far on all everything we've seen? Any big surprises for you? Uh, well, who are you going to SKT? I think was actually really surprising to me, especially with so many huge name top laners and stuff, and people who have been already in the LCK. Like I didn't expect that at all but i'm actually super excited for that because i think it's something where lck as far as the english broadcast doesn't get nearly as many viewers as you, as you would expect for it being the best league like the most skilled right. league right so i think it's something where because huni has an established eu viewer base an established na viewer base maybe this is something that can kind of bring more of the western fans into watching it even if it's just through vods or whatever because that in combination with like kt super team and all the moves that are happening in korea like the reverse exodus right. It should be super hype for, for NA EU fans and for the hardcore LCK fans. And, and then for North America as well, I think it's really cool, especially like some of the like lower tier teams or whatever you want to call them are also getting exciting big name players. So I think at least at the, the start of the season, people are going to be pretty excited to see how everyone does. Yeah. I mean, come on, I know that it was surprising that Huni went to SKT, but when there's so many good top laners, but he trained in North America, yep. the elite region. If you're SKT, you're looking for a top laner, of course you're going to pick somebody from NALCS, right? I mean, we've already seen what NALCS talent can do for a team like Samsung, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Core JJ straight to the World Finals, right, so exactly. exactly. Yeah, North America is just a hyperbolic time chamber. You go there, yeah. you train, and then yeah. you're, you're really good. Uh, other than that, anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there who've been watching you cast now, we're at towards the end of the year, so maybe kind of a fun uh, year for you and doing all this stuff. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, thanks so much for everyone who has been kind of bearing with me. I, I think it has been a, a really fun ride so far, and I am really looking forward to, to many more years of casting and, and, yeah, just trying to get better day by day. 
Very good. Thank you so much, Giselle, for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things All-Stars and more here at Yahoo Esports.